In a couple of days time, I'm taking the XXL Lego inspired go-kart to EMF camp. It's a festival in a field, so I feel the go-kart needs a bit more off-road capability. And for that, it needs more torque, so bigger motors. These are 63 100s by Flipsky. Now, in order to get the go-kart off-road, I think the biggest issue I'm going to have is ground clearance. I've got about 20 mil of clearance on this at the moment, and I'm only talking about going on grass. I'm not talking about proper off-road. Um, in fact, the disc brakes are even lower to the ground, so I just want to raise it off the ground a bit more. To do that, I've followed in a similar approach to what I did in my drift cart video, which is the last one, where I added uh, drift rims to the wheels. I'm going to add these, which are solid PLA rims which basically give me an extra 30 millimeter of ground clearance now i've done them solid rather than a tpu as the tires are at the moment and that's just because i'm going to be on grass so i think they're going to give me enough grip and it was fairly cheap and easy to print them these larger 63 100 motors are the same kv as the 63 74s that are coming off so they should do about the same speed but should have 25 percent more torque also, they'll take more power, so they'll take about 100 amps continuous when they're flat out. So I need to think about the whole system because that's going to have a knock-on effect with my controller and cabling. Here's the upgraded controller. It's the Flipsky VESC 75100. Uh, it has all the connectors on the front here, nice and easy to get to. So obviously it's a dual channel, 100 amps per channel controller. Uh, a couple of USB-Cs for programming, although it's internally connected by a CAN bus, so you can do it all from one of the uh, USB sockets. And it comes in this nice aluminium case uh, that acts as a heatsink. This is 10 AWG cable, which ran power from the batteries at the front to the controller at the back. So I've upgraded this to 8 AWG to minimize losses. These XT90 connectors are uh, underpowered because they're only really made to take 90 amps continuous and we could be pulling at 200 amps continuous when this is running at flat out. But that should only happen for very short bursts whilst the go-kart is accelerating. So for now, I'm thinking I'm gonna to have to leave these as they are. I need to check the fuse. I think there's 125 amps in there at the moment. So I'll probably upgrade that to 150 or 200 amps. And of course the batteries here, these are 12C, 12 amp hour batteries in series. So I'll get 144 amps out of those continuous. However, I think they're burst mode rated way above 200 amps. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna try the setup as it is, but with these bigger wheels on. Because I wanna know how much difference it feels, the acceleration loss that I'll experience with this bigger diameter wheel on it. And then once I've tried that out, I'm going to then install these motors, retune it, and see if I get that acceleration back. The existing 6374 motors have been tuned up and are ready to go with the new controller. After I've finished the EMF camp, of course, I can take these off-road tyres back off, and we can find some tarmac somewhere and try it out with these normal road tyres on, but with these bigger motors. And then I should have 25% more acceleration, which is going to be hilarious fun, uh, especially with the drift rims back on. For now, though, I'm going to wait for James Bruton to turn up to give me a lift with this into the van. EMF camp takes place in Eastner Deer Park, overlooked by Eastner Castle, set in the stunning Melvin Hills. This is our village in the background. James is giving a demonstration of his crazy machine here at the moment. And the giant Lego go-kart is somewhere in there. So now I've got to start upgrading it to its uh, off-road mode with those bigger wheels and um, bigger motors. Well, bigger wheels first. These new PLA off-road tires simply slide over the existing TPU tires. Super easy to fit and means there's a lot less to print. Nice. One small problem. Come on, look at this. I'm going to have to take a look at that. Well, just ignore it. It'll be fine. Okay. I'm definitely not going to go up that hill, I don't think. I'm going to try, but... 
Well, I was right, it really didn't want to go up this hill. I'd lost a lot of torque by adding the larger diameter tyres, so it was clear I was going to have to upgrade to the larger powered motors. Oh yeah, so there's no grip on the wheels then, that's confirmed. <laughs> Before changing anything, I decided to try it out on this walkway. With hindsight, this wasn't such a good idea. So I have made a drift cart again then, basically. That smells like Yeah, <laughs> I'm not surprised, look at it. That's hot. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> At this point I probably should have stopped, but I got overexcited and wanted to try some more drifting. I hadn't realised it was tearing my tyres apart. <laughs> if I had known my tyres were shredding, I certainly wouldn't have been showering passers-by in bits of broken PLA. Sorry about that. Let's have a look at it in slow motion. Wow. It's spitting at um, them. Bits of, bits of plastic, yeah. I, I only really made these for grass. I shouldn't have really taken it on that hard surface. Uh, so clearly well, that didn't work very well. Um, for a start, it definitely felt like there wasn't enough torque anymore to get moving, um, particularly uphill. It was terrible. So then I stupidly took it on the flat, on the treads down there, and revved it up, spun the wheels up and shredded them. Um, when I printed these extensions, I totally forgot and only printed them with two perimeters, so they're way too weak. So what I'm going to do is um, take off the damaged two rims, fortunately I think it's only two of these are damaged, and put these rubber ones on, which are still probably printed uh, with only two perimeters, which isn't great, but um, put those on instead. And then if that doesn't work, I'll just have to go back to the original tyres and hope that I've got enough ground clearance, uh, which I probably haven't because there's only 20 mil. Well, I decided to try the smaller tyres again, but of course I was right and I didn't have enough ground clearance and I tore the bottom of one of the steering arms off. Here I'm going to glue it back in place because I have no other option and just hope for the best. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring a 3D printer with me. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's a disaster, isn't it? It's day two and... Uh... A little camp here. James has just sorted himself out in the van, and um, it's time to have a look at this these motors. Now that I know I need to go to the larger tyres to give me greater ground clearance, I'm definitely going to have to fit the torquier motors. So let's get them fitted, tuned up, and try it all again. If you're interested in any of the FlipSky components I'm using, such as the 63100 motors or the 75100 controller, I'll leave a link in the description below. That's the bigger 63100 motors fitted and tuned up. I've currently got them limited to 70 amps. Uh, I can go up to 100 amps. Uh, and the new um, bigger wheels are back on, so now I just need to try it and see if it's got enough torque. My wheels caught the spring as I've gone around the corner of it and it's torn the return spring off. This setup was turning out to be enormous fun as it was drifting on the grass. <laughs> on my last few laps I could hear a terrible noise coming from the left hand motor. Well, I should have stopped to check it sooner because it was much worse than I thought. Uh, well, it was all going so well. I didn't really tighten the tensioner up properly on this side and I heard a bit of a terrible noise and I've completely stripped the drive belt on one side. So now it just doesn't want to move at all, which is really annoying because definitely had more torque. These motors were working really well. In fact, so much torque that without the correct tension on the belt, it stripped it. 
um, and it was drifting on grass, it was great fun, uh, it was terrifying actually, it was terrifying, it was too fast, um, but the motors were great, uh, so yeah that's a, a, an added bonus and will now work with these bigger off-road off -road tyres. But that's it, I can't do any more, it's game over, so um, really disappointing. Anyway, I'll get some spare belts when I come, when I travel with the car in the future, I'll make sure I have spare belts with me. There were dozens of other wacky vehicles on site, such as the Hacky Racers, James Bruton's Omnidirectional Villains Chair. But by far the most ridiculous was this massively overpowered child's toy. It's full wheel drive and you even get an ab workout at the same time. It's like... Uh, I don't know how to describe this. <laughs> it's a very unique driving technique, which is a mixture of pleasure and pain, but enormous fun. <laughs> so I'm going to just check out the rest of EMF Camp now. And if you don't know what EMF Camp is about, check out their website because it's a great fun four day festival. And uh, if you like this kind of stuff and much, much more. That's it. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment below. Bye.